Welcome back. Local college students are combining firefighting with robots, and the result is pretty amazing. Olivia Leach got an up close look at the device that they call Robomoto. All new for you at 6 o'clock. It may look lethal, but this robot could actually help save lives one day. A team of UT Dallas engineering students designed the machine to help revolutionize how firefighters battle wildfires. This essentially can also be uh, simultaneously controlled from a remote location. And so that will uh, help a firefighter or help someone that can use this robot to attend to the problem while also not being at risk. The team spent over eight months coding, designing, and troubleshooting until they got it right. It's very exciting. Seeing the whole robot progress from just bare parts to an actual uh, functioning uh, uh, robot. Their project sponsor, UT grad Rick Tett, sparked the idea by challenging the students to use the foot pedal control system he invented. All right, controller on. Here's how it works. Using the pedal, the students are able to navigate the robot in any direction from far distances away, using a camera as their guide. We've tested it where we can control it from the end of campus to here. This means firefighters could get an up-close look at a wildfire without ever setting foot on the scene. And we hope that it can really just start or pave the pathway to something bigger. Once the robot gets close to flames, the user can direct it to spray fire suppressing foam directly on that fire while you're safely at a distance. Although this robot hasn't come face to face with a fire yet, this team's work is helping advance firefighting technology. The robot will be used to help develop a firefighting tank that could be used in the field one day. It's, uh, it's very fulfilling. Um, seeing that uh, you know, our product is going to hopefully change people's lives and actually have a change in the world. Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.